right, what's up guys? We just got to the main hunting lease for the season. Uh, me and dad are here. Say hi, dad. Um, he's a man of many words. Um, we are going to go ahead and get this food plot uh, tilled. Um, we're not planning yet. It's only, what's today, August 26th or something like that. Um, yeah. So it's only end of August. Still pretty pretty hot here. It's about 100 degrees today. Just a little soon to be planning a food plot. Um, and But we want to go ahead and get it tilled. We have a tropical storm probably heading in here Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and so a lot of these areas in this hunting lease get pretty low. Um, you can see we got stuck here <laughs> a couple weekends ago. Took a while to get out. Um, so we do not want to try to be bringing in like a, a, like a heavy duty tiller or anything like that after the storm comes through because we don't want to get stuck again. Um, so we're going to go and get it tilled now. Um, and then in a couple weekends, it'll be ready to go. We're just going to go ahead and plant it then and come out here just do a quick drag after we get the seed out and um you know we'll be all set for for hunting season um we went ahead and rented uh, a heavy duty tiller from home depot we had a very cheap version of this we had a front time tiller we brought out here a couple weekends ago to try to use and the the ground is a little too hard for that um this ground hasn't really been tilled before we have a rear time tiller self-propelled hopefully is gonna get this job done a lot quicker and a lot easier um, so that we can get this tilled and get out of here because it, it is pretty hot um, but let's get to it enough talking let's get this thing tilled so we can get back into air conditioning all right update on the food plot situation home depot sucks no. they gave us a defective rear tiller that won't work so we're on our way back to home depot about 20 30 minute drive to get a new one and hopefully that one will work all right guys back at the lease went back to home depot and got a working tiller the other one they tried to say we did something wrong but we didn't it was just it was just broken um got a working one it's going great so far honestly um we have only been here about 20 minutes and we've made some good progress you can see how much we've gotten tilled already good good bit just have this middle part to get done this is it's hot but it's not that hard of work um, because that, that tiller is actually really good. It's doing most of the work. Um, it's just 100 and, you know, 10 degrees out here. And so it's just hot period. Um, I did want to show you guys one other thing. I already got the blind in for archery season coming up, um, 30 yards from the feeder. So right here, I already got set up, ready to go. You can see where the feeder and my dad is, where the pot is. So good location between the, the brush here. Um, I'm really excited guys. I'm, I'm, I'm wishing it was a uh, opening morning right now. <laughs> it's still about three weeks away. Um, three weeks today, actually. So 21 days away from the season opener. Um, we're probably not going to plant until pretty much right around there, probably around the middle of September, maybe the week after the opener. Um, but I wanted to get it, go ahead and get it tilled and everything ready to go. Rain come in, get in the dirt a little bit. Um, but I'm real excited guys. Food plot is officially tilled. We are ready to go to plant in just a couple weeks. Um, when we come to plant, we'll do a quick drag of it um, just to any weeds that have sprouted up in a couple weeks, you know, just to get them out of the way. Um, I got a buddy that's going to bring out um, his zero turn and he has an attachment on the back that's going to be able to drag it real well now that it's already been tilled. Um, so a couple weeks from now, we'll be back out here uh, getting this all planted and um, Really looking forward to this deer season. Um, this is going to be exciting. This is my first time doing a food plot ever hunting. So I'm very excited to see um, you know, how it turns out once we plant it. Um, and you know if it pays off. <laughs> my goal right now is five good bucks this season. Between all my properties, I think that I can do that. Um, but I, this property is probably the property I'm looking forward to hunting the most. I don't have anything big on camera yet. Um, my six acre lease, I actually got a really nice eight point on camera the other night. I'll be sure to show you guys that picture in a minute. Um, here, just been smaller bucks, but once rut hits, once it cools down a little bit, I know that some of these bigger bucks are going to start showing up. Um, you know, they're, they're going to come out here, especially once this food plot hits and starts growing. Um, they're going to come. So this, this is going to be a really good location, I think. It's just a gut feeling. You never know how things will actually turn out, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey guys, what's going on? 
Sunday afternoon here, and I just kind of wanted to show you some of the bucks that um, that I've been tracking and just what I'm seeing currently at my different leases. Um, my two main hunting leases this season are the two 20-acre properties, the one that has the food plot that, that we were working on yesterday, and then um, the other one that's, that's kind of situated between two swamps. It's a good little um, kind of like a pinch point that they're, they're coming between. Um, haven't seen anything shooter-wise really at either of those properties yet, but I'm not really expecting to yet. It's, it's very, very hot here in Florida right now. Temperature today was probably heat index around like 115, 120. Um, it's just so hot. And so during the day right now, I'm not really getting many pictures of deer, period. Uh, which I don't blame them. Uh, if I was if I was a buck or a, or a doe in this heat, I would be doing whatever it took to stay cool, and I would not be worrying about going to a feeder or a food plot right now. Um, but I do want to show you kind of what I am seeing currently. Um, there is a seven point. I got I showed you a picture of it before on my phone, but it was very bad quality, small picture on a phone. Um, I'm not really considering this deer a shooter. Um, this is located at the food plot area. Um, my dad's gonna be hunting the first season. Um, this is gonna be his first hunting season this year. And so uh, if this buck sticks around until my dad turns 65 and he can legally hunt without you know, having to buy a license and stuff like that, that's gonna be in October. Um, I already gave him permission, go ahead, shoot this buck. Uh, it's not a bad buck, you know, it's, it's, it's maybe two and a half years old, um, a decent rack, but nothing crazy. Let me go ahead and show you guys it. You can get a, a better angle. Um, so you can see this was the 5 a.m. last night, seven point, you know, honestly, it's, it's not a, not that bad of a rack. If he had a couple years, I, I can only imagine what he would look like, but if he comes out and my dad's sitting there, I'm totally okay with that. Um, with, you know, that being my dad's first my dad's first buck um my six acre lease which butts up to about 300 acres of land i don't think anyone hunts that land it's like a, a certified tree farm sort of situation um i got a really nice buck in there the other day which i'm gonna show you in just a second um at that 20 acre lease i have two other bucks on camera routinely currently neither of them are anything fancy um one is a three point over here. That's the three point has a spike on one side, two on the other. And then this little four point young deer, younger than the other deer, honestly. Um, and so nothing, nothing that I'm going to be shooting out there. Um, but that's kind of like what I'm seeing currently. And, and once we get closer to rut, the bigger bucks are going to come in. They're going to push these, these smaller bucks out, um, so that they can, you know, <laughs> do their thing with the does. Um, but my six acre lease. So my six acre lease is a little different of a, of a hunting property. It's, it's not like you can't hunt it the same way as you would bigger hunting leases. It, it's, it's located up against 300 acres. There's houses on either end of the property. And so it's really a pinch point. They, they kind of travel through it, um, to get to where they're going, whether that's crossing the road, um, or just, you know, walking through the woods and going back out into the 300 acres. Um, it's treated me really well. You guys saw in the last video some of the bucks that I've taken out there So I'm not complaining about this lease at all um, The other night I got uh, a, a very nice buck on camera there and I'm hoping he'll make an appearance once we get closer to hunting season um, You know the way this lease works I usually see the deer more than once but they don't like hang around they don't come in every day um, it's usually like a it's just chance. <laughs> There's no way to pattern the deer at the six acre lease. They just, it's very random of when they come in. Um, but it definitely got my heart going when I saw this buck pop up on camera. Uh, he's young. He's only about, he's probably like two, two years old, you know, a couple years, he would be a monster Florida buck. But I'm going to be honest right now, if he came out and I was in the stand, I, I would 100% be shooting him. Um, so this is, this is the buck, um, tall eight. Um, he's just, I mean, he's a very nice buck. Look at, look at this guy. So let me, let me find an angle from the side, kind of give you, show you what we're looking at here. This is a pretty good angle. Um, this very symmetrical eight point, very tall eight point. And so if, if he walks out, um, I don't think they have the willpower to let this guy go, especially given the fact that, you know, you just never know with this six acre lease what you're going to see. 
um, you know that that would look good. Skull mount on the mall, the wall right there. That is a, that is a nice eight point. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm again that I can't really consider I can't really consider him like a like a target buck or anything like that because there's a very real chance I never see him again. Um, but there's also a chance that he's gonna make a couple more appearances out at this lease. It's just the way that this lease works out. So we'll see what happens closer to the season. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I was looking at. Uh, my, my other property that's 20 acres between the two swamps um, have not seen any shooter bucks at all, um, small or not. I, there's a spike and a bunch of does, and uh, I am hoping for that property. It's just going to be, you know, cool down and rut week. Um, where it's located is a very good location, butting up to, you know, 150 acres, not huddable, huddable land. So... It's really just going to be a wait and see what happens as this weather starts to cool down over the next couple of weeks and see if anything good shows up. Um, I, I'm very confident at all these properties during rut week that I'm going to have opportunities um, for good shooters to show up. And hopefully I'm going to be able to get my dad on his first buck this season and not just a small buck. I would really like to get him on a buck that would be worthy of skull mounting and putting up here in their house. Um, but... It's just a wait and see game to see what happens as, as this weather cools down and we get closer to rut. Thanks so much for tuning in to episode two, guys. Um, this will do it for the preseason episodes. There's not really any other updates in terms of the preseason. We're not going to be doing anything with the plot in terms of planting until the weather starts to cool down a little bit, probably mid-September, right around opener, um, maybe a week after. Um, so there's not really any more updates there. Uh, the other leases are ready to go. We have the stand set up. We have one more feeder to put out at one of the leases. Um, we're making our own kind of homemade <laughs> um, battery feeder. Um, we don't want to spend, you know, 120 bucks on a tripod feeder. And so we're making our own with just a five gallon bucket and a um, attachment that we bought online. Um, so I actually will show you guys that once we have it up and running. But other than that, we're just uh, marking down the days on the calendar until the, to the opening of deer season. Um, we are officially T minus 20 days to opening morning. And so um, that'll pretty much do it until opening morning, guys. I will see you the next episode, opening morning, deer season 2023.